WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. You get the Dow down 391 points. It's a little over 1%. A little over 1% for the S&P or 45 points. One to three tenths for the NASDAQ 100. That's 143 points. 1% for the Russell 19. 1% for the semis. That's 26 points to the downside. 1.5% for gold. She's trading down 27.50. Uh, silver's off 68 pennies. That's nearly 3%. Light sweet crude is up 70 cents, trading out at 73.56 and change natural gas back 37 pennies. 30 year treasury printed out at 126.31. Bring it on home, Stevie. What does all that mean? Well, if we take a look at the ES mini and our nine panel market update chart, upper left hand panel, what you'll see is the consolidation pattern that price is trading within. It's trading uh, basically just below the bottom of its daily profile, but we've got a consolidation with inside a consolidation. So we just have a lot of sideways movement. That's spot volatility. Still below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's a 50-day right now, printed out at 23.14. As long as price remains below that, it's actually wind at the sales of the back of the buyers. I know it doesn't look like that, but that is the message. If we take a look at the NQ, price pulling back, testing support. Support is the bottom of its profile, 10.823. Price this morning got down to 10.814. U.S. dollar index is one giving the conniptions out here. Now, that is breaking out. It is suggesting a change in trend. Of course, it doesn't matter what it looks like at 11.01. It matters what it looks Looks like at the end of the day but if price does close above 10467 what you will see inside of uh, the US dollar index is it's signaling that it wants to move higher out there and we have not seen a close above the top of a daily profile for the US dollar index since last trading day above it was on October 20th 2020 so you want to watch today's close for the US dollar index if we take a look at Goldilocks although you can't see it here I know this road momentum indicator pattern that is present Today would be a bearish reversal candle. That would then suggest a move back to support. There is a new profile that is forming. 1806 to 1813 appears to be the support level. In the case of silver, it has a TD9 count top that remains in place. More likely than not, price is going to go target 2263. That is the bottom of its daily profile. Lightspeed crude found support at the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. That's between the range of 7161 and 7290. And natural gas? It has completed the one to one A to B equal C D. We can see that price along the C to the left side of the C to D leg. That suggests more than a one to one A to B equal C D to the downside. Next price projection level at two dollars and sixty-eight cents. And a 30-year treasury, it's got resistance at a new profile that is forming. 127, even Steven. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.